Hello everyone, I'm JM on Cars. This is Adam Ivel. That's Sideways Sid. We are currently tandem drifting in Sweden. What did you do with your Friday? Best day at work ever. Best day at work. We're snow driving. Let's do the thing. I'm gonna do my window, it's so cold. So, never driven on ice before. I have driven one of these before. And I got Adam Ivel in the passenger seat. Yeah. Who's a proper drifter, so you know, this is quite nerve wracking for me, really. I'm so bad at front wheel drive. Go, go on, boy. The first task laid out for us was a variant of the famous Swedish moose test, except taking place on the frozen lake. The idea being that you're driving along on just any road in Sweden, minding your own business, then suddenly a moose, and you have to swerve around said creature, but then of course you've got oncoming traffic to deal with. So basically you've got to turn left sharply and then right sharply again, all without spinning, crashing, and preferably dying. Obviously, on a frozen lake, it was fairly tricky made even trickier by the fact that we turned all the car's traction control and safety aids off. I might actually have to get out, dude. I'm so scared. Oh. Come on, come on. Come, you little twerver! Come on! Uh, what's that to start? It was 50 is what you started off at. Nah, go 70. No, I'm just starting at 50. I'm starting at 50. Come on, you got to make it fair. got to make it fair, okay. And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Kill the moose. Around. Woo! And, and in. Oh my god, I'm the worst passenger ever. Yeah, that's good. I started at 50, so. Uh, yeah, you know, in 50 it's quite easy. Yeah. Yeah? So and then we do it in 60. I'll do it in 60. Yeah. Keep. Uh, I'm gonna get some outside footage before you come yeah. down here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get out of this car. Keep the brakes yeah. hard. Yeah. Um, and um, until the car is stopped here. Hold on. Perfect. Yeah. Adam Ivel, Drift God. <laughs> I just made him want to get out of the car. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> no! Mercy! Oh, man. You need to steer. Yeah, I tried, but I need to do more. Is it. More lock or just earlier? Earlier and more. Earlier and more. Yeah, both. <laughs> it's quite interesting how much grip you actually have with these studded tyres, so that's what we're running at the minute. Never ever driven studded tyres before. Never driven on a frozen lake before. The ice apparently is currently about 60 to 100 centimetres thick, which they say is, is very, very thick. That, like, literally nothing is going through this. Apparently you could drive a tank across here and you'd be fine. I would actually love to drive a tank across here, so if you happen to make tanks and you're watching this video and uh, you want some promo, just uh, let me know. How, how did I get out here? How did this little channel bring me here? So if you're watching, you're a subscriber, or this is your first time, thank you so much because, hey, you made it happen, right? I just work here. We then took the cars out for an autocross session. Having now driven the Aris GRMN in sun and snow, I can confirm its credentials as not just a superb hot hatchback, but a real driver's car. It's great to know that companies like Toyota are committed to making little cars like this and the GT86 for people who want to experience real driving thrills at affordable price points. And I am eternally thankful to them and our contact Andy for letting me take part in these events. I know there will be people out there saying I'm just being kind on these cars because Toyota flew me out to do these cool events and things, but the truth is that even in January when we went to Spain, the cars were already all sold out. Toyota do not need my help selling these cars. 
They're actually taking a risk by letting us drive them in these conditions. What I think Toyota wanted to show was that their products capture the spirit of driving I often talk about when discussing things like my Lotus on the channel, and they really do. It's not just about speed, it's the interaction that you have with the car. I doubt I exceeded 50 mile an hour the whole time I was there, and most of the time I was at about 10 or 15, but I had more fun than I've had behind the wheel of a car in a very long time. After our day in the Aris, we retired to our hotel, eager for the next day's action, which was going to be taking place in the rear-wheel drive 86. Oh, I love drifting so much. This is like therapy for you, isn't it? This is the best thing ever, man. That back end out and just keep her out. Keep that shit lit. This is a really, really easy car to do this in. So well balanced, isn't oh, it? Yeah. Whoa! We keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Big angles, big angles. Woo! <laughs> oh, watch out for the going. <laughs> not the moose, not the moose. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's my turn with Fairy Drift Mother Adam. I'm so excited. I can't see what we, where we're going. Don't crash from headbutting your camera. Oh, yeah. Stay in first gear and uh, see how you feel it out. I'm not going to give you too much advice. Just go for it. Just have fun. Do a drift. More power. That's it. Straighten the whip up. Oh, yeah. All right, gently, gently, gently. What you need to do is initiate the drift and don't keep your foot in it, okay? Yeah. So feather the throttle. To keep it on the revs, but not rev limiting, right? That's it. <laughs> nearly, nearly. Yeah, the last time I tried it, we had a lot more traction. Right, you got too much angle on now, so yeah. make it wider. That's it. Let go, that's the perfect thing to do. Let go of the wheel, all right. So let go of the wheel and just keep it. Just keep keep the drift going. Try so hard to teach. I've never done it before. With respect to the drift teachers out there. That's it. That's good. That's good. And we want to go over there. So just keep looking. That's it. That is perfect. Keep going. Keep revving. Keep revving. Not too hard. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Oh! That was good, that was good, well done. That was good. Yeah, because last time, the actual, the tricky bit, because we had the grip, it was trying to get the back end to break. Yeah, so now we've right. got too much yeah. breakage. Right, give it a little flick. Flick of the wrist, let go. Oh, that is good. Keep that going. Oh, just a bit too much. So we don't want to like over overcompensate with the angle. So on some drift cars, you see they've got mad angle, and that's yeah. so they can adjust then. We obviously don't have the mad angle, so we need to keep the wheels pointing right, really where we want to go. Remember, we're steering from the rear, so just the front wheels are just there to kind of direct us where we want the car to be. That is perfect, mate. Keep it going. That is perfect. Yes! Woo! Yeah! Way! Love that! Woo! It's just that there's that point between like not drifting at all yeah. and spin yeah. and yeah, it's hang in the middle, hang in the middle. Get in the middle and just dance with her, baby. It's just oh, all about <laughs> dancing with the car. Like dancing with a hot girl, you just got to keep her moving. Love it. Little Bernie? Little Bernie? <laughs> right, it's a little over exaggeration, so it breaks and then just keep her on the, on the feather to power. Keep, that is perfect. I love what you're doing with your hands. That is like the perfect thing to do. Perfect, that was the best. Go on, keep going. Oh man, you got this. You don't even need me in here anymore. <laughs> he says as he's going at the wall. Oh my God. <laughs> Drift <-o> tap. <laughs> oh my God, I honestly thought we were about to play on the wall. That would have been so funny. Yeah, you don't even need me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bump, and he's gone. Ejecto seed cars. Well done, mate. But there, boy, that was sweet. Well done. I'm proud. Thanks, buddy. So this is what they call the guitar because it's shaped a little bit like the bottom of a guitar, and uh, it's a little mini drift track. So um, just been out with Adam. Who knows what he's doing? Now I'm gonna have a go. You say that. I just kind of <laughs> like just do it and hope for the best. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
I'll be uh, Alex Carmichael, aka Calms. <laughs> Understeering past. Blind, blimey, it's cold. Oh, blimey, governor! Oh, blimey, governor! This, this is what happens when they don't let me swear. I have to find English words to replace them. Sorry, I'll be quiet. I'll let you concentrate. I'm just going to hold on, okay? Alright. Too fast. Yeah. A little dab of the handy. Oh, I'll send that one. That is good. That's nice. That's perfect! I'll take that. I'll take that. That is good, man. Nice one. It's good, man. Come the edit, it'll just be me, you, Freddie Asbo, and Ken Block. <laughs> keep her lit, mate. Keep her lit, mate. Love that. That's a lovely little float we're going into there. Yeah. Not too bad yourself. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> <laughs> That's decent, mate. Come on. I love drifting. Yeah, man. I can see why you do it. How do you find the drift scene generally? Are people pretty supportive beautiful, and decent? Beautiful, like... beautiful people. There's a few rotten eggs, but the vast majority oh, that's of everything, mate. beautiful, beautiful people that just want to have fun. So, okay, if someone's, someone's watching this video and someone's like, man, that just looks like loads of fun. Now, let's presume they don't have the budget to, you know, come out of Sweden, you yep. know, and, and do some drifto stuff. Yep. Where would they start? What would they best thing to do? Well, they need to start a YouTube channel. Yeah. And ask Toyota if they can come for free. <laughs> That's actually the best thing. <laughs> no, well, this is um, like, uh, what I'd suggest is, in my personal opinion, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Which is one, you go to a drift school, and uh, I think it's like three or four hundred pound, and I think that's you know it's good value, it, man. It's well, you not you bad. think it's good value, but to me that's three drift days. So yeah. what you could also do, I mean, I I do want definitely to get the basics. Um, if you're not sure on it and you don't have really a big budget, because then you only spend four hundred pound and you have a fun day instead of. And I definitely advise Pro Drift Academy. Uh, uh -huh. I'm just going to give them a shout out. If I was all the RDX guys at Rockingham. Yep. Um, they're the two I'd use and what I would suggest if you have got the budget um, is get an MX-5 or a just uh, an NA Mark 1 just like, anything just a yeah. rear wheel drive car so like a BMW 3 Series maybe it doesn't have to be a good one just anything to learn in so as long as it's got like a welded diff or a good LSD yeah the well, everyone picks up like an E36 compact and that sort of stuff isn't it compact like, as long as it's got a 6 pot engine it'll go sideways really easily like every compact I've seen these days seems to have mysteriously grown a 6 pot engine Ah, oh, that was nice. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then get on to a Santa Pod day or a Rockingham day or, or a, one of your local track. I know Three Sisters do drift days and um, um, Teesside as well. But Teesside is quite an advanced track, I think. Um, yeah. I wouldn't want to have done my first drift day there. I don't think I'd ever done it again. But um, yeah, I think. And then uh, get on the old Facebook pages and try and add a few people. And just honestly, if you message even people like me and like, dude, I'm nervous about doing my first drift day. I, 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 that's the best way is get ask about so people do it I'm nervous like look at this if someone was just like oh, this Saturday I'm going and I had that Saturday free I'd go along man Ooh, boy. Yeah, there's a lot of people that will always be looking to add new people at their drift circles just because it's a very unique um, sport mm. and uh, oh my god they've crashed up there and I think everybody should be willing to give it a go because it's fantastic. You make great friends and have a great time while you're doing it. And you learn a new skill. And your biggest cost really, obviously, if you're going to buy a car, so you're going to get a car, but you say, like, the tyres, obviously, what you're going to go through, really. and Tyres, yeah. Um, tyres and fuel. Uh, I mean, if you are lucky enough to have the funds and... Mind out this, man. Um, ha have the funds and um, be able to afford a, a trailer and a tow vehicle of any sort, then that's obviously preferred. Like, that's obviously what I'm lucky enough to have. Um, but it allows you to drive as hard as you want without really any consequences. Other than I think the, the, the major gist of it really is that I think a lot of people are going to look at it and be like, oh, I've got to buy all this kit and all this stuff to, to drift around and do all this stuff. But actually, you, you don't need to. No, not at all. Not at all.
real dab of handy, mate. Sideways Rog. <laughs> Don't kill Alex. Hey! <laughs> that was a good one. Well done. That was That's nice. Funny. Final task the big track. It's kind of scary because the other stuff was at reasonably low speeds. If you want it to be, this is quite quick. Adam's just been out and I was doing some cool slow mo shots of him. Well, I'm breathing a bit faster than normal because uh, it's uh, it's cold. Yesterday was only about minus seven or eight. Today's like minus seventeen something. wrong and there's a big insurance waiver oversteer then understeer oh a lot of people gone off there having just driven it I can see exactly why these cars are not quite as pristine as the uh, as the Yaris but uh, you know bad form to damage a car isn't it Mad skids, bro. Mad skids. Oh, mad understeer. Mad understeer, bro. So, because we're at higher RPM because we're at higher speed, and I want a second gear because it is too quick. But the car's just that much more responsive, and you got that much more power on tap. So, everything's just amped up to 11. It's hyper responsive. Oh, it's that like inside of the track where you get a sudden understeer, a snap understeer. Oh, it's, it's almost like learning to drive again for the first time because there's so many things I'm trying to all oh, learn at once, you know, do the dance on the wheel, dance on the throttle, then dab the handbrake as and when need be. You know, it's uh, it's interesting. It's amazing fun, absolutely amazing fun. If you ever get the chance to do it, just, just do it. Oh, just, you know, I'm just gonna imagine I'm on an industrial estate in Essex, you know. Is that moment just before a crash drawn out as long as you possibly can <laughs> oh whoa oh, oh, oh my god what and there it was it was bound to happen <laughs> keep the front out of the wall now keep the back out of the wall Dance, 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 it's just everything we've been learning over the last couple of days, particularly this morning, just kind of all in one. <laughs> it's kind of half of it, let the wheel do what it wants, then the other half is, no, no, tell it what you need it to do. I almost feel a little bit better that when I start to be going a little bit wrong, I see in front of me a patch of someone else has gone wrong before me, so you think that the grip would be very constant. It really, really is. It changes massively.
oh great, no pressure. Sideways Sid is behind me now, and he's, he's damn quick. He's a damn good driver, really. Honestly, I know in his videos he looks like a hooligan, because he's a hooligan, but boy knows how to drive. Boy really, really knows how to drive. Corner's a little shit. That inside throws you out, makes you badly understeer. Okay, here is okay. Before, see if you don't approach it with enough, with the back spinning enough. Whoa. Oh, come on. Now I think I was trying to hug the inside a bit too much. Oh, broke my rhythm. Getting cocky. Getting cocky. finished with all this serious educational stuff, it was time to have some real fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you very much Toyota for letting us come and do this. Genuinely, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, genuinely. And thank you for building rad cars because if everybody goes turds then we're not gonna have any fun anymore. No, it's been awesome. It's been great working with Adam. Hopefully you're gonna see him again on the channel at some point in the future. What should I do with him next? Anna, give me some ideas. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff that you do. <laughs> we're not coming home. Burn the passports. <laughs>